Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Who needs a handle? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mainly Outdoors. Now today we are out once again fishing on the Salmon River. Based on that last video, you guys really wanted to know what I was using. So today we're gonna go a lot more into that. Whenever I switch a fly, that eventually catches a fish. I'll point out what I was using. Um, yeah, lost one today so far. So I'm 0 for 1, as they'd say around here. And I am making a switch to a stone fly, a tied up, this pretty cool pattern, it's just like a bright orange stonefly. Uh, I like to use it actually back up in Maine when there's either a lot of runoff and the water's murky. It's a great attractor fly. If you guys want any of these flies we're gonna be using today, you can contact me on my Instagram or you can contact me on email. I'll get back to you either way. It's definitely a way for you to help support the channel. I'm getting so much demand right now and hopefully we're gonna have a website coming out soon. Hey, there you are. I had two bites back to back. On oh, what, worm? No, a stone fly. Yeah, I missed the first one. I had too much line out and I was like, oh, I'll tighten up. And then this guy bit. Oh. All right, I think you're gonna be able to get him here. Yeah, thank you. Hey, that's a good one. Is it in the mouth? Looks like it, yep. All right. Oh, yep. Woo, she's pretty. Yeah, look what I got her on. On the first cast, I got a bite, and then I was kind of pissed that I missed it. So I had too much line out, so yeah. bad hooks up. So I reeled in, cast it again, and that one took. Is this close enough for you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fish. Right in the mouth again. That's, That's a good fly. Hell yeah. It's about as big as the first one I caught. Yep. Thank you. It hold up well? Yeah. Well, I think it looks nice. Good, it's man. a pretty durable one. Yeah, seriously. Wow. I like that. That was like a couple casts after the first right. hookup. Well, fishing slowed down since we first started. It's probably a couple hours later now. Haven't really got any more bites. I think we're both 
one for two, I'm pretty sure. And I uh, just made a little switch here, so I looked down and I had a mayfly that was crawling up my waders, so I figured, hey, why not throw something that looks like it? So I grabbed a little, well, dark blue size 18 copper john. It was about the closest thing I had that looked like this mayfly in my box. So I figured, why not tie that on, see how that goes. I'm not sure. Could have been both rock or uh, a fish. Didn't actually feel it. I just saw the line go. Anybody's guess. Could have been a stick floating downstream. Oh, that was. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Hey, I guess it was a fish. Match the hatch, yeah. Crazy, just from one thing just crawling up my leg. I don't think I would have tried it otherwise. Ooh, feels pretty good. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Silver. Ish. No. Should be getting close. Oh, come on. Yeah, you got it right here. Oh my God. Nice. Get the net out again. <laughs> it's worth Dude, it. Right yeah, it's the second one. Those are good hook sets. Such a small it's fly, a too. Fly. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, beauty. I was going for it and the net kept bending down. <laughs> yeah, I should have dropped it back. I was holding it too tight. Uh, do you have. Can't get this hook out. I got pliers right here. Those are nice little ones. Yeah. They're nice because they... That wasn't coming out. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice one as far as the color goes. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. There you go. Yeah, I might go with it. I might take that orange one off. Yeah, I think drop down size. Yeah. I have a green one if you want to try that. Uh, actually, I have another blue one, but it might be good to try a different color. So. Gotcha. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. a lot of nasty snags right here. Well, I don't know, if you can get them up here, I can probably get them. Yeah, you don't want them getting in there. Try to walk towards the bank and then swing them my way. I was just about to get him too. Oh. That was a good fight though. Oh yeah. That's a tough oh, spot. Oh damn. <laughs> that was a good fight. Well it's nice to get done a little early today. Yeah, yeah. Happy with the fish that we caught, we decided to head back a little early, get some rest before our last day of fishing. Got back to the hotel room, we re-rigged our rods, I hit the vise for a while, tying up some more stonefly patterns. Decided that it worked so well today, let's put some rubber legs on there, see how that does. We just crashed so we could get up bright and early tomorrow, make sure we had the head of the pool to wrap up this trip 
and it definitely was not a disappointment. Oh man, it's nice. Yeah. What is this? What are you, Florida? <laughs> Oh yeah, we got it. Yes. It's about eight o'clock right now. This morning I landed one fish for, there's really enough light for the camera. And I'm pretty sure it was on that blue worm that you can see right here. Now I'm switching out to this chartreuse nymph. It's got a UV wire in it, so it is just, uh, it's a pretty cool pattern. After that, I'll probably move on to that stonefly I tied up. On that midge again. I'm gonna play him pretty light. Is that a small one? I might be able to land him. Yeah. Well, it's a dark one. Throw me the net so I can keep him in the water. That's crazy, such a small fly. I got a few more of those. I'll hook you up with one. And if you hook them on it, just play them like oh, yeah. real light. Cause this is only since like size 16 or 18. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You should get one up there if they're biting it still. I'm making a little switch here. So I put on that orange stonefly that I just tied up last night. It's the one with the orange rubber legs on it. This thing has a tungsten head on it and it's really streamlined. So it sinks down pretty fast. It's also different than what other people throw. So they've been doing well for us. Figured why not give it a shot again. Fish. I have a lot more confidence in this hook. Oh, coming down. Unfortunately, the GoPro cut out right here and missed out on probably the hardest fight I've ever had with any coming fish. Down. It was quite oh the battle. <laughs> oh, I really wish I had this one on film, but unfortunately this is the only clip I have. I'm not soon to forget this fish, so it doesn't really matter. I just would have loved to relive it while I was editing here. That was a fun fight. <sighs> <laughs> on the fly I just tied last night. Oh, that was the rubber leg one? That's the rubber leg. Nice, dude. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I'll, I'll stop. I'll only leave that spot fresh for you. They're definitely on that stone. This one? Yeah. Zach just hooked onto a fish. Pretty sure Zach was using a black version of that orange stone fly I was using. Got this. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> that, net, that net's done now. <laughs> Who needs a handle? Okay, now we have to hold it like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't know if it's in the. I think it's in the mouth. Go. I heard the snap and I knew exactly what it was, so yeah. I reached down and I grabbed the net like that. <laughs> I guess it's ready to go into retirement. Yeah, I think, so. <laughs> I think it did its job over the, over the past 
It did break on the very last fish too. I am so happy with how this day ended up. To finish the day, I caught that just, for me, a monster. I don't know what a big steelhead is. I know they can get up to like 20, 30 pounds, but I was so excited to catch it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I know I didn't do the best job filming this experience, but I just wanted to live it. And man, was it incredible. I can see why these fish are just so addicting. I had an absolute blast. And so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad you could tag along for those uh, for this new experience for me. I will uh, catch you guys back up north when we go to hit some ice. We are going to head on our way back home. Um, we got one more night in the hotel. But that is it for this trip. So say goodbye, Zach. Later.